my dear students of class 7 i am santip yoshar going to discuss your science chapter 8 wind storms atmosphere winds and storms that is cyclones right at first we know about atmosphere what is atmosphere a layer of gases surrounds the earth and retained by the earth's gravity which is commonly known as air it's called atmosphere that is atmosphere what do we mean by atmosphere a layer of gases surrounds the earth and it is retained by earth's gravity is known as atmosphere right now we know the composition of air composition of air means the constituent of air here nitrogen oxygen argon carbon dioxide some traces amount of water vapor another inert gases like helium neon Hydrogen also will present here. Now, we give the value of different amounts, percentage by volume of a dry air. Right? The composition of dry air by its volume, that is, in accordance with its volume, will be that. That is, we write here that is nitrogen we write n2 nitrogen equal to 78.09 percent right oxygen equal to 20.95 percent right uh, next which argon ar ar means argon helium in uh, Neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, here argon, air means argon, inner gas and inner gas. Argon, the amount of argon will be 0 0.93%. Amount of carbon dioxide is 0 0.24%. Sorry, 0.04%, 0.04%, minute amounts, right? And another gases also present water vapor water vapor that is H2 actually water vapor what is the amount of water vapor water vapor 1 percent to uh, 0 point how many amount 0 point uh, 4 percent 0 point 6 percent not 4 percent also will be right another inner gas is neon helium methane etc are also present in small amount hydrogen krypton and other inert gases neon the amount of neon in percentage by volume will be 0 0.00181 0 0.0018 approximately at the percent helium what will be the value of helium helium will be the 0. 0.0005 percent very minute amount methane the amount of methane is 0 0.00018 percent and amount of amount of hydrogen will be 0 0.40 that is 4055 percent of or 5 percent or 6 percent krypton is very minute amount 0 0.00 0, 1, 1, 4 percent right atmosphere of air that atmosphere or simply we call it air the percentage composition by volume of a dry air of a dry air is nitrogen equal to 78.09 percent right in your notes books exercise book nitrogen is 78.09 percent Oxygen is 
20.95% ID 20.95% 20.95% argon 0.93% and inert gas is this ha carbon dioxide 0.04% water vapor 1% to 0.6% uh, in the case of sea level its value is 1% and another entire surface of the earth approximately 0.6 0.4 actually 0.4% that is lies lies between 1 to 0.4 1 to 0.4% right helium is neon is 0.0018% it is also an inert gas helium is also an inert gas its amount is 0.0005% methane is 0.0018% hydrogen hydrocarbon simplest hydrocarbon hydrogen is 0.00005% it is also methane is also called marsh gas krypton 0.00011014% right in your notes books exercise book right now we are seeing we know the different layers the layers of earth extends about 1200 km the first that is the lowest layer with respect to that is called troposphere troposphere in this layer it is extends from 0 to 12 km with respect to that surface right is temperature and pressure both are decreased with increase in altitude pressure for all layers will be decreased with altitude remember it but temperature in various layers may be varied right in the troposphere which extends to 12 km from the surface contains dust particle vapor water vapor cloud etc hence in this layer and also oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen are present here ha ah, water vapor also present in this layer thunderstorms rainfall etc occur etc occur occur right now a uh, troposphere in the troposphere sinks thunderstorms that is uh, thunder associated with storm lightning and uh, here the temperature in this layer is decreased with increase in altitude is decreased with increase in altitude and at the top portion of this layer the temperature becomes minus 56 degree celsius right remember it 56 degree celsius minus 56 degree celsius since in this zone air flow that is winds thunderstorms etc are occurred hence this layer is also called angry layer angry layer right next just above the troposphere troposphere and then next layer will be stratosphere which is from 12 km to 45 km that is stratosphere extends up to 45 km from 12 km with respect to the earth surface and in between the troposphere and stratosphere a thin layer that is at the junction a layer is present in which the temperature 
does not depend upon the altitude. The temperature remains constant. This layer is called tropopause. Right? This layer is called tropopause. That is troposphere and stratosphere in the junction of troposphere and stratosphere. Now, we discuss about stratosphere. Stratosphere already mentioned that it, ex it is extended from 12 km to 45 km with respect to the earth. Right? Hence, here the temperature, pressure, pressure will be decreased in all the layers with altitude. Here temperature will be increased. Here temperature will be increased. Right? Now, in this layer, that is stratosphere, stratosphere, here a, thin, a layer of ozone gas is present. It extends from actually 16 km to 30 km within the stratosphere. Hence, sometimes this layer also called ozonosphere. Remember it. Here, no cloud or thunderstorms be occurred because in this layer, the amount of moisture, air particles, etc. are negligible. We may be neglected there. For this region, no and in the in this layer, oxygen amount of oxygen is also minute, so taking breath is also difficult. We cannot survive in this layer without carry oxygen cylinder. Next, here we have this is a quiet zone also because no thunderstorms occur in this case. Then stratosphere is also called quiet zone, right? In this layer, we have already mentioned ozone layer is present. No cloud, obviously. Next, we have and no change in some uh, layer above the stratosphere, a layer, the stratosphere and mesosphere, in which temperature remains constant, that is, does not change with altitude. This is called stratopause. This is called stratopause. Right? Now, uh, now we have the third layer known as mesosphere. Mesosphere extends from 45 km to 85 km. Mesosphere is the coolest layer of all the on comparison of with the other four layers. Right? It extends from 45 km to 85 km with respect to the earth. In this layer, temperature decreased. Temperature decreased. And just at the bottom of this layer, temperature decreased to minus 92 degrees Celsius. In this layer also, some amount of nitrogen, oxygen, NO plus, NO2 plus and NO plus also present. N2O2, O2 plus, NO plus also present in this layer. This is the mesosphere. Right? Now, we know the next layer. In between mesosphere and thermosphere, next layer is thermosphere. In between mesosphere and thermosphere, a layer of air is obtained which is whose temperature does not change with altitude. And this layer is called mesopause. Right? This layer is called mesopause. This layer is called mesopause. Now, we discuss about thermosphere, mesosphere and thermosphere. Mesosphere already mentioned, already discussed. That is the junction between mesosphere and thermosphere in which temperature remains same is called mesopause, it is already discussed. Now, th 
thermosphere. Sometimes it is also called ionosphere because in this layer, air molecules are in ionized state. In this layer, temperature increased and with altitude, but pressure always decreased. Temperature increased up to 1200 degree Celsius. Here, almost no air. Its breathing is very difficult, right? It extends from 85 to 500 kilometer with respect to that. In this layer, that is thermosphere layer, polar lights are seen. Polar lights or polar light is seen, right? In this layer. Now, we have the last layer, exosphere. Exosphere is extended from 500 km to about 1000 km with respect to the Earth. In this layer, some precious amount of hydrogen, helium gases are present. Exosphere, in exosphere, artificial satellites, space stations, are located. Right? Now, first three layers according to their chemical composition or structure, first three layers is called homosphere. That is the troposphere, stratosphere, and mesosphere all together are called homosphere. And the last two layers of air is called heterosphere. That is Thermosphere and exosphere are called heterosphere. Right? This must be remembered here. Right? Now, uh, we may say that in the proposed stratosphere, right? In the stratosphere, Airplanes are moved, right? Remember this. We just eat now. We know about wind. What do we mean by wind? Wind. Wind. Is a flow of air in a massive amount, in a large scale amount, moving gases, that is air, 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 moving gases or airs in the earth surface. Obviously, in the troposphere, not stratosphere, in the earth, in the earth, in the layer, atmospheric layer, layer of atmosphere, so that is troposphere. Troposphere in a large scale. In a large scale is called wind moving gases that is airs in the large in the layer of atmosphere that is troposphere in a large scale is called wind. This is called wind. Right? Hence we is defined uh, in this way. Now we discuss about the formation of wind. Why wind is formed? We know it, right? We know it.
right formation of wing cause of formation of wing cause of formation of wing cause of formation cause of formation of wing what is the cause of formation of wing it is due to the difference in temperature consequently difference in pressure of air right in the case of, that is uneven temperature cause main cause is uneven temperature uneven temperature in the atmosphere consequently consequently temperature difference temperature temperature difference temperature difference in air in different layers of air in air right it in layer in air is the main cause is the main cause main cause of the formation of wing of the formation of wing right uneven temperature in the atmosphere consequently temperature difference in air or pressure different temperature difference creates pressure difference pressure difference in air is the main cause of the formation of wind we discuss it in the following way right to write this let us consider the two regions that is equator equator this is the earth this is equator equatorial plane equatorial plane and this is polar region polar poles poles north pole and south pole pole this is equatorial plane now earth moves in this way this is east this is west right east to west east to west in this way here if we consider the sun rays coming from sun if our rays ultraviolet rays infrared rays etc at the equatorial region that is equatorial region uh, near uh, near the equatorial region and uh, at the poles poles are at a large distance in comparison with the equator from the sun so pole is of lower temperature than the equatorial means pole is cold but equatorial equator at equator region equator the temperature is high 
So a temperature difference creates here. And for this reason, the air at the poles being cold and hence heavier than the air at the equatorial region. In this region, air becomes hot and hence it becomes lighter and rises up. And, it, and hence empty space is created at the equatorial region. And it is in the lower pressure because here air rises up. So a temporary wet warm is produced. Hence the high from the high pressure region that is from the pole, high that pole, from the pole, the air rushes towards the equatorial region towards the equatorial region hence here actually air flows from high pressure to low pressure from the pole to the equator equator right but since the earth rotates since the earth rotates the direction of the wind or a flow of air is not along the north pole direction. Remember it. Okay? Wind, the speed of wind is measured by what is the measurement, how you measure wind speed. How you we measure wind speed and how we get its direction. Remember them. Right? Remember them. What is the How is the direction is measured? On which, uh, on, by which device? The device is named as the uh, wind vane. Wind vane, remember it. Wind vane. This measures, this device measures the direction of air flow, direction of air flow that is wind, air flow or wind. Wind vane, this device measures the direction of air flow, direction, it gives direction. But how we, wind speed is measured? Anemometer, anemo, anemometer. Animal meter is a device which is used which anemometer is a device which measure measures speed speed of wind or air flow speed of wind hence anemometer is a device that the anemometer is used for the measurement of speed of wind anemometer is a device used for the measurement of wind speed for the measurement of wind speed in the another cases that is the winds blows Winds blow from from ocean to land or vice versa. We give it the next portion. That is another 